Alright, so I just got this uh, quick app I made to work, and what it does is it pairs with the HC05 Bluetooth receiver, which is uh, an extremely popular sort of receiver uh, for hackers and uh, hobbyist electronics because it's cheap and easy to get into since it talks serial. And um, so what it does is it has a simple arming slide uh, for safety because you don't want to shoot it when you're not meaning to. So you slide it up and it presents you with the fire button and then you press that when you're ready to actually fire the gun or whatever you have hooked up on the receiving side, which I will show now. And that is just an Arduino and a Bluetooth receiver. So here is the finished Bluetooth module, and uh, as you can see, it's just a relay, an AT Tiny, which is like an Arduino but smaller, uh, and it is uh, going to be turned on now, and the light will flash when it's ready to be paired. But there's really nothing else to show. So here I've mounted the Bluetooth receiver to a air cannon and a solenoid and a few batteries. So when I trigger the uh, relay through the Bluetooth receiver and the app. It'll allow current to go into the uh, solenoid, therefore firing the gun. But I'm, the gun's not loaded right now, so you'll just hear a small click. Yep, so it shoots. Uh, as you can see, it's in fire mode. I mean, it's in uh, armed mode, so now I'm just going to click fire. It's launch, so it's now armed. And when I press launch, it should, when I press fire, it should shoot a cannon off. And that was successful. What do you think? Well, the practical limit of the uh, Bluetooth signal seems to be about here. And this is about um, 10 meters, so... Not bad, it's not great, but uh, you know, it's more than far enough to get behind like a rock or something if you're doing something uh, a bit dangerous, so yeah. Now, I'm uh, more than willing to provide the source code for both the Android uh, package and also the Arduino for the Bluetooth receiver. Uh, but I'll need about a week to finish up the app because at the moment it's at like a pre-beta stage. It's utter crap. It's just there's no not even a settings page. So uh, yeah, I'll do that. Then provide the APK and source code for everything so people can modify it as they wish.